Good morning, Irawakwa. Good morning, students and soon-to-be alumni, family and friends, professors, and other distinguished guests. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sheila Ball, and I'm the current president of the Irawakwa Alumni Association. I was also a member of Generation 9. I had the pleasure of spending my third semester in Cottbus, where I got to know Desina and Dinesh from your generation. And I got to know many more of you last year in Barcelona when we had the Yerowakwe 10th anniversary reunion. I'm sorry that I haven't met all of you in person, but I hope to meet you in the near future, either in person or online. It's hard to believe that only a year has passed since I was sitting in your seat, waiting to get my master's diploma. In the past year, I had to say goodbye to all of my Yerowakwe family, which is a very difficult thing to do. I moved back to Canada and I started a job in flood forecasting and warning and floodplain mapping. However, I have since decided to pursue my passion and I'll be moving back to Europe in the next few weeks, this time to work in the subsurface flow department at Dead Tages. Eurowakwe taught me many things. I mean, you go to lectures, you learn about bus schedules and moving and visa processes, and the joy that numerical modeling can be and the errors that it'll present on your computer. But more than that, it I think it really taught me a lot about critical thinking and how to adapt to different situations. You're now at a time in your lives where you're young. You've tried so many different things, you've probably got a lot of different interests, interests and the world is yours. You're going to have decisions to make in the coming days and coming weeks, but just know that there's no good or bad decision. There's no right or wrong. You just have to weigh the options and look at what's right for you at this very moment. But take risks. It's a time where you can try new things. Take a break if you want. Go traveling. Start working. Do an internship. Start a PhD. The possibilities are endless. If there's any advice that I can give you, it would be to start networking. It's never too late to start. Tell people, I just finished my master's degree. I'm looking for a job. Or I'm looking for ideas. Find out what people like about their job, what gets them up in the morning, what career path have they taken, what would they do differently. Explore different interests that you have. Try working in a different location if you want to. Go back to your family. Really, the world is yours. Whatever you do, I'd love it if you could stay in touch. The Euroaqua Alumni Association will be hosting, will be having its elections this fall, and so we'll be looking for a new president, vice president, two new secretaries, and a new treasurer. This is the opportunity to get more involved if you didn't have the chance before. Nominate yourself for one of your peers, and we'd love to have you become an active part in the community. We'll also be hosting our next e-reunion, and so this is an opportunity to join other alumni members online, and it'll take place on Sunday, October 4th. Don't worry, I know you have a lot of things to think about today, and there's an email coming in the near future about that. You never know what can happen. I think that one of the biggest strengths of our program is its strong alumni network. I've seen people talk either online or in person, and then it turns to one PhD student talking to another and then deciding to present a paper together at a conference and traveling to a third location. Or it might lead to international consulting contracts. No matter what, you know that you've got friends all around the world with the Euroaqua Alumni Association. And so remember that today is your day. Take the time to look around you, to share the smiles, to just enjoy, soak in the moment. You're in Nice. It's beautiful. Enjoy the ocean, the sunshine, the mountains. You've got it all. Be proud. You've worked hard. You deserve this. And we're all very, very proud of you. Congratulations, Generation 10. And hope to see you soon.